top seven builders in Summerlin. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and welcome to my Summerlin series. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the top seven builders in the Summerlin Master Plan community. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. As you know, and I say it in all my videos, Summerlin is the largest master plan community here in the Las Vegas Valley. It has been around for over 31 years, and they have another 15, maybe 20 years to go, depending on the need for homes in Las Vegas. Uh, right now, Summerlin West is growing fast, and they probably have about 5,000, maybe under 5,000 acres left to go. So in Summerlin West, you have three villages. You have the Red Point Village, the Red Point Square Village, and then the Kestrel Village currently. Pretty soon we will have Kestrel Commons Village, which is actually quite similar with types of homes as Red Point Square Village, more dense homes, more congested homes, more townhomes and condos. But I'm gonna go over the top seven builders currently in Summerlin. And the first builder, and it's not an order as who's best or who's worse, it's just the order that I made my list. <laughs> and the first builder is Toll Brothers. As you know, Toll Brothers homes are high quality homes and they are built very well. So the first community is Acadia Ridge and these are all single family homes. Some of them are two story, some of them are single story. And this is located in the Red Point Village priced from the mid 700s. Then you have Cordillera, which is in the Red Point Square Village. And these are townhomes. And I think they have three different floor designs and they're priced in the mid 600s. Then you have Mesa Ridge, which is actually located in the Mesa Village. And these homes are actually a little more super luxury or a little more expensive. Um, they're starting in the 1 million range. They had about four different collections two-story, single-story homes, um, starting probably over a million dollars, and they're pretty much sold out. They, they may have one collection still left to go, and that's their two-story collection, but other than that, there's not much left in this community. Next, you have Mirror Villa, which are all condos in the Canyons Village, and their prices now are probably starting over a million as well, maybe in the high 900s. Then last, we have Regency in the Cliffs Village, which is a 55 plus active adult retirement community. They are also on their last lag. They're probably pretty much almost sold out as well. They're selling the models and it's pretty much done. And the prices I can't go over because they don't have anything left. Pretty much everything left is resale. They may have a few spec homes available. Now, the nice thing about all of Toll Brothers communities, regardless if it's um, gated or not gated, they do have a community pool in it, which is very nice. Um, so that's awesome thing to know about Toll Brothers communities here in Las Vegas. And the next builder is TriPoint Homes. And as you may know, TriPoint is actually one of my favorite builders because of the modern look that it has, the mid-century look, the asymmetrical roof lines, and I just love the aesthetics of TriPoint Homes. And the communities that TriPoint has is actually Royals Edge in the Red Point Village, brand new, just recently opened up. These are all two-story um, homes. I think they have about three different floor plans, starting in the high 500s. Then you have Kings Canyon that has a single story and then three two-story floor plans also in the Red Point Village and their starting price point is in the 800s. Last is Overlook and these are all single story homes also in the Red Point Village and their starting price is actually in the one millions and above. I did find out from one of the TriPoint sales associates that they will be building a townhome community in I think in the Red Point Square Village not sure if there will be any TriPoint homes over in the Kestrel Village or not because they don't let us know anything. We have to drive around constantly to see if any new signs pop up, but uh, until then, stay tuned. 
if there is any tri-point in Kestrel Commons or the Kestrel Village. And the next builder is Taylor Morrison, and Taylor Morrison has been ranked the most trusted builder for seven years in a row. And the communities in Summerlin is Castellana 1 and Castellana 2. Castellana is located in the Red Point Village, and Castellana 1, they have four single-story floor plans to choose from, priced from the mid-700s. In Castellana 2, they also have four two-story homes to choose from priced from the mid 600s. Then you have Crested Canyon, which is located in the Kestrel Village. And these homes are identical to the homes that are located in Cascades, the Red Point Square Village. And they're starting in the mid 600s. Then you have Savannah in the Red Point Village. And these are all single-story homes. I do believe they have seven different floor plans to choose from. They're pretty much closing out on this community. They may have a few left, a few lots left, but they're starting price in the mid 600s. The next builder is Pulte Homes, and Pulte has over 65 years of building new construction. And the neighborhoods in Summerlin West that are Pulte is Black Tail, which is a brand new community. I think they haven't really fully opened up yet. They're taking interest lists. And I do believe, let's see, I don't know how many, they have three story homes to choose from. I don't know how many exactly they have, three or four different floor plans to choose from, all three story. And the prices have yet to be released. Then you have Carmel Cliff, located in the Red Point Village. And these are actually very expensive homes. They're starting in the high, I said 900s, but actually I looked the other day on the website and they're starting in the million dollar range now. It's amazing how fast prices went from when they first built these communities to now. It's crazy. And that's it for Pulte as of now. Again, stay tuned to future videos where I'll go over what is happening in the Kestrel Village and Kestrel Commons Village. And number five is Lennar Homes. And if you're not familiar with Lennar, they're very well known for two things. They're everything included package and their next gen suites. The communities in Summerlin by Lennar is Arches, which is a brand new community that's coming soon this fall, all single story homes. I do believe they have, they have three different floor plans to choose from, but the kicker is they're starting at $1.4 million. What? But they are larger homes over 3,000 square feet and they all are gonna have a next gen suite. The next community by Lennar is Heritage, which is in the Stonebridge Village. And this is a 55 plus active adult retirement community. And they have nine different floor plans to choose from, three different collections. And their starting prices are in the mid 400s, depending on the model. The Sterling, which is, you know, the Cromwell, which is the smaller homes, the 1200 square foot homes are starting in the 400s. And then as you get to the bigger models, they're in the 800s to 900 range. Next, you have um, Highline 1 and Highline 2, and these are condos in the Red Point Square Village. Highline 1 has three different floor plans to choose from, and prices are starting in the low 500s. And then Highline 2 also has three different floor plans to choose from, but they're starting in the high 400s. And I've done videos on pretty much all these neighborhoods. If you want to learn more, just check out my YouTube channel or my website at summerlincommunities.com. My next builder is Woodside Homes. And Woodside Homes combines high quality to energy efficient features in their homes. And the neighborhoods in Summerlin is Crystal Canyon. This is in the Red Point Village. They had two collections. I think they're pretty much sold out on this one. I think, I don't even know what the prices are because they're pretty much closing out on this community. And then you have Falcon Crest, which is a brand new community in the Kestrel Village. And these are also all single story homes. And the prices are from the 700s. Last, you have Obsidian, which is in the Red Point Square Village, and they have single store, I mean, they have two story and three story homes, prices in the high 400s. And the next community is Viero, Viro, V R E O, uh, by Woodside Homes in the Kestrel Village, but nothing else has been disclosed about this um, community, if it's single story, two story, or pricing. We just know that it's going to be coming soon. And number seven is Richmond American Homes. Richmond American companies have homes in about 14 different states um, and they have a solid reputation for quality. 
The neighborhoods in Summerlin is Morrow Point and Morrow Rock. These are townhomes. Morrow Rock is completely sold out and Morrow Point is almost sold out. They have two different floor plans to choose from, the Boston and the Chicago, and the starting price is in the upper 400s and these are literally townhomes. And then you have Osprey Ridge, which is coming soon to the Kestrel Village. Again, no information has been released on this community, what it's gonna be like, what type of homes or pricing, but just know that it will be coming soon. There are other builders that um, Summerlin has. You also have KB Homes, which really there isn't much right now currently in Summerlin that's brand new to go over. They will have a new community in Kestrel Village called Nighthawk, but it's not really much to go over. And then there's also Shea Homes, which is part of Trilogy, another 55 plus retirement community. So those are the top seven builders currently in the Summerlin Master Plan community. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are of each of those builders or if you bought in any of these communities, how are you enjoying it? As always, make sure you know what to do, right? Hit that like button, that share, and most definitely subscribe to my channel because I like to talk a lot about Summerlin and of course, Las Vegas real estate. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.